Should we do this in Roman numerals, Arabic, maybe a little of both? Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman, and I've got a short video for you today. Five quick tips about trout fishing. No need to really explain that, so let's just dive into number one. When you first get to a trout stream, just sit down and watch for a minute. Don't just start flogging at the water. Take some time and soak everything in. You'll probably see something that will help you. A rising fish, you might see fish chasing each other, bugs hatching. If you start your day with your rod unrigged, don't rig it up in the parking lot. Wait till you get to the water. It'll give you something to do while you're soaking in the scene. If your rod's already rigged up because you're a cool guy with rocket launchers on your truck, maybe just sit down and have a beer by the water. Or a riverbank is just a nice place to sit and think for a while. Or shut the brain off and not think at all. That's good too. How about tip number two? If you get a refusal from a trout, leave your fly. Don't pick it up. This is mostly referring to dry fly fishing. And what I mean is that if a fish comes up to your fly, checks it out real hard, doesn't eat it, and then swims away, leave your fly there. Do not pick it up. There are a lot of times where the fish will come back and eat that fly. I've seen it happen a million times, like at least three. But really, it is a good idea to just leave it. The fish might come back and eat it. Also, if you just rip that fly off the water, you're probably gonna scare that fish. Wait till the fly drifts away from the fish before you pick your line up off the water. And you might be surprised how often they'll come back to eat it. I don't really know why they do this, but I believe they're just trying to mess with me. And it works. All right, tip I, I, I rest the fish. This means a few different things. For one, say you have a fish that you're working and you just can't catch him. You've changed flies, you've tried a bunch of different drifts, he's still sitting there eating, but he's not eating your fly. Just give them a minute and take a break. Sometimes they just need to not see your fly for a little bit. You could rest that fish for five minutes or you could rest that fish for three hours. This is one of the cool things or maybe not cool things, depending on how you see it, about trout fishing. Those fish are there and they're mostly just staying there. They're not moving around. If your fish is there and he's not eating, you can go have lunch, come back, and that fish is still gonna be there for the most part. Another time you might wanna rest the trout is if you and another angler are working the same piece of water, don't just jump in there right after them. Give the fish a minute to relax and get confident again. Or maybe you just caught a big fish and it tail walked all over the pool, jumping and swimming around and maybe scared some of the fish that were in there. Might wanna rest that water for a bit. Again, great time to have a beer on the bank. Another time you can rest a fish is if you find a fish in a feeding lie and you spook it, just go away and that fish might come back. Go away, find something else to do, let that fish come back and get comfortable, and then you can come back later with a new plan of attack that's not gonna spook it. Tip number four. This is more for the new people that don't know about this yet. Fish more than one fly. I'm not great at math, but I think that if you have two hooks instead of one, it will at least double your chances of catching a fish. But beware, it will quadruple your chances of getting tangled. Fishing just one fly is more pleasant to cast, but fishing two flies or even three if you're a psycho will increase your chances of catching a fish. Disclaimer, please check the regulations where you are fishing. Sometimes multiple hooks are not allowed. Okay, last tip. I don't know how many there were. Somebody go back and count them. Don't get discouraged. If you are struggling and not catching fish, that's actually kind of normal. If you're new to fly fishing, it's going to take some time to learn. Enjoy the process. If you've been doing this a long time, you should already know that you're not gonna catch all the fish in the river and sometimes you just have a bad day. Suck it up. The day that you think you're super awesome at fly fishing is the day that you should quit. So that means like 95% of Instagram fly fishers need to quit right now. And that's it, 19 quick tips about trout fishing. I hope you learned a little bit or at least got to procrastinate from your work. Thanks as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back as soon as I can with a new video about fly fishing. Until then, go catch something besides a trout and stay huge. Yeah, it's about like I thought it'd be. Pretty good.